Just as a flaring tool is used to make a flare connection, a swaging tool is used to make a permanent brazed connection. Swaging the end of your tubing is similar to flaring in that your goal is to gradually widen the end of your tube. However, swaging eliminates the use and expense of fittings, as well as the opportunity for leaks. Swaging allows you to increase the inside diameter of the tubing for a short length, so you can slip one tube inside the other before brazing. This graphic shows the difference between a swage and a flare. There are a number of different styles and sizes of swaging tools available, from the traditional punch type to feed screw to tube expander. Many flaring kits also come with swaging bits to turn your flaring bar into a swaging bar. Get to know your options before settling on a personal favorite. First, let's look at the traditional punch type swager. As the name suggests, this tool is designed to punch the end of your tubing. Simply insert the lead end of the punch into the tubing. Make sure the tool is aligned perfectly straight with the tubing. A common mistake is to drive this into the tube at an angle. While gripping the tubing tightly, use a hammer to strike the punch, driving the swager into the end until you reach the stop and have achieved the form you're looking for.